And that's what Norm did. So he quit being a pastor, and now he's just uh, blowing dudes on camera. Um, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. What yeah. a transformation. Yeah. yeah. Here's some of the uh, shots from the scene. Pastor Norm? Oh, my there, God. There's, that's there. a gangbang. Yeah, it's a gangbang. Okay. Oh, here, my God. Here he is. How many the... people did he give, like, communion to that are pissed? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you hear about, you hear about <laughs> Pastor Norm? <laughs> hey. <laughs> He baptized my kid. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear what he's done? <laughs> What's that video he was in called? What, like, five uh, young studs bang an oh. old Pastor Norm? I mean, uh... You are! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss! <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Hard Factor. It is Wednesday, May 25th, episode 950, I believe. 950, yeah. 950, I believe. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a doozy. Uh, what the fuck Wednesday? Uh, we got Mark, we got Pat. Gentlemen, how are we doing? What do you got? What do you got for us today? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. Well, I'll tell you what's in the coffee. Uh, an assassination attempt, potentially some Web three stuff that you're going to want to listen to, and uh, maybe some news for you boys out there that might be having some difficulty in the uh, hair department. Nice. Ooh. And then when we go international, I've got a, a real life situation that would make Ian Ziering and Tara Reed blush, and then a couple of dogs, couple of horn dogs in the UK. Ow! Ow! Uh, <laughs> oof, oof. <laughs> A <laughs> couple of dogs. I got a horn dog too. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, come on. Love a horn dog. <laughs> what do you got, Wes? My just, parents, just are, horn, fine. Just, my just parents are finally out of town, so I might be able to masturbate oh, today. Speaking if I'm of horn dogs, yeah, your hand. <laughs> were they uh, staying in the same room as you or something? No, they were, they were staying um, in my room, and I was staying at my girlfriend's apartment. You know Sorry. how Wes likes to masturbate loudly. Yeah. yeah. And, and you were masturbating. I like an empty house. Out of house. respect for them because they were in town. That's right. Yeah. Well, they're here. Okay. I was, yeah. I can't. I'm not going to masturbate at my. He couldn't apartment. not think about them while they were here, too. That's so right. It fucks with your, your whole erection oh, game. They drain all my energy when they're here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Love them. They're great people, but they a weak. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 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 What was the highlight? Um, highlight. Mm -hmm. We went to uh, we went to crawfish last night. That was pretty awesome. Yes. Yeah. Got to suck the head. Yeah, we sucked some heads. But uh, uh, inflation crawfish dinner. Pretty expensive. Yeah. What I what bet. what it set you back, dude? Uh, two hundred and fifty bucks for for five for five of us. And you, did you go to the place down the street? I went to the crawfish and oyster shack, South Park Meadows. There is, better have been some fucking sausage or something in there. Too. There is, there okay. is. There's potatoes, and then and then okay. some. A couple of people got, uh, you know, some crab legs, which are insanely expensive right now. But there crawfish is twelve bucks a pound right now. I mean, inflation is no joke. Normally, it's eight ninety nine a pound for live crawfish uh, at this place. Man, I mean, are we running out of crawfish? I mean, why can't we? Because it's, we can't, it's, it's the, the shipping. Sorry, it's the shipping. Them, can't get it's them the delivered. gas costs. Yeah. yeah, everything, everything, everything goes up because of the gas. Yeah, you gotta they could, eat it straight at the shore, I guess. They yeah. could get a uh, not nah, crawl. I mean, they come out of like a fucking creek, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, a farm. Yeah. 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 Like a nice farm, I like to think. But it's a they were it was Vietnamese crawfish, which if you've never had is fantastic. It's, seasoning, it's like huh? butter and yeah. seasoning. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Come on, you get me hungry. Is it yeah. the crawfish that are Vietnamese or the Yes. The seasoning. Both. It's Both. the style. Okay. It got originated in Houston the way that they prepare it. Or Vietnam, I don't know. You guys no. want you guys want to get right into the news? Let's do the news. Sure. All right. Fine. Maybe we'll just pop right there into the news. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. Uh, if you were having a good day, get ready to not have one. Uh, another school shooting. What's up? Shout out. School shooting. This time in Uvalde, Texas. Uh, Uvalde, Uvalde. Uh, don't know much about Uvalde except for they have a really cool old timey train platform uh and some unfortunately dead dead children 
So, right. Yeah. Those are the two big things now that Uvalde's known for. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just now hearing about this. Yeah. yeah. Two dead, uh, 12 injured, um, not many more details. Uh, yeah, that's how you know that the pandemic is officially over. It's oh, no, it's on, gotten a lot worse, Pat. School sh- 13 minutes ago, it said as many as 14 killed. So oh, a, oh lot of those, a lot of those injured kids are now deceased. Oh, my God, uh, dude. I looked at the, the oh my maybe God. 27 minutes ago. Yep, nope. Uh, a lot of those kids died in the past 20 minutes. Um, well, or they just weren't reporting. Right. Oh, it's not good. Man. Not good at all. Uvalde is a small town, man. It is. No, really... it's terrible. Everyone in the town knows that this is this ruins that entire town. That's like this is this will ruin Uvalde for a, a generation. Oh, my God. Is that an elementary school? So elementary school. Mm-hmm. Come on. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> You're up, Congress. And society, we got to do something about that. Right, right society. Yeah. Let's move. Let's <laughs> yeah. let's move on, guys. Uh, Ricky Gervais was trending for his Netflix comedy special, which features topical humor that some are saying is transphobic. Uh, but let's not talk about that. Instead, on that note, with yesterday being Pansexual Visibility Day, here are six celebrities that you did not know were pansexual. Um, what does pansexual mean exactly? They don't identify. Is that I think is they're about either? it all. They're about it all. Okay. They're about it all. Pan, right, left and right. Oh, Pan was like the the uh, Greek god that fucked everything. Like the yeah. It's, right. They don't have a gender I- identity. They don't identify as male, female. So right. So you couldn't be considered like gay if you were fucking a woman because you're not really. You're, Correct. You're, right. So like you're just like yeah. I got you're it. fluid, mm-hmm. kind of like yeah. Got I it. Think, yeah. Yep. All right. So here are the six celebrities you did not know were pansexual. Uh, first up, we have Wendy Darling. Second, Tinker, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Third, TikTok, the Crocodile, mm. uh, Rufio. From, from, wait, the one that swallowed. Yeah, okay, I got you. Yep. Yeah. All from Peter Pan. Captain mm-hmm. Hook, and the most pansexual of them all, Smee. Oh, oh they're going to say Peter Pan. <laughs> no, Smee gets it in. Well, yeah, Smee. I mean, I guess when Peter Shmee. Pan's beaten off, he's pansexual. Listen, boat, long boat rides get lonely for Smee. Yeah. Oh, Smee is a dirty boy. Look at him. No Smee sits on the... Uh, the steering wheel. Yeah. He'll, he'll fuck it all. He steers the boat. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. From behind, all. sitting on it. Yeah, yeah. With his butt. Yeah, mm-hmm. with his butt. He steers the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He steers it with his butt. <laughs> hey, push my shoulder to the side. It's we gotta me. move. All <laughs> uh, right. Hey, um, mm. listen up, you fat bald cunts. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I just meant you bald cunts. Um, if you're fat. Hmm. Can't help you. Uh, Sexual but, harassment. Pat. Yeah, sorry, guys. Concert Pharmaceuticals said on Monday, this is a Boston-based company, that it uh, it's experimental treatment for a severe form of hair loss, alopecia, um, could restore nearly a full head of hair to 30 or 40% of people who are treated with it, which is massive news. Ew. Check that out. That, there's some, did you just that say ew? ew? Yeah, that's ew disgusting. Is right. That's disgusting. What the fuck's wrong with you? The person much- has all... All just, alopecia. Shave, just shave the head. What, How much to lick looks, that head? Why Mark? wouldn't you just shave it? Oh How much God, to lick man. the head on the left? What? That's offensive. No, it's offensive to look at that. Just shave it off. He has alopecia, man. Okay, so shave it off. His head looks great, bald. The one on the right. far left, you just shave it a little bit. He looks fantastic. It looks disgusting having a few strings at the top. That's like Sorry, it's Charlie Brown. Good Christ. But look there on the right, Mark. Okay, he looks great on the right. He looks fine on the far left if he shaves a little bit. The middle one is just disturbing. Ugh. I'm sorry, people with alopecia, but you know you don't have to put it on all of us. Right? Yeah, don't have to make me feel. You don't have bad. to make me feel uh, like you know you're ugly just because you look ugly with the hair. Like Mark, now, I, now I'm ugly because I'm talking about it. Mark, huh? here's a knock on his door. It's Will Smith. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she did the right thing though. She shaved. Yeah, she looked great shaved. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, sorry for anyone that's <laughs> suffering from male. Pattern baldness. Well, YouTube.com, to, for, in my defense, YouTube.com slash hard factor. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's a strong defense. <laughs> okay. Well, he's, he's, that dude's great. He's doing fine. He, okay. he's, he's one of the 30 to 40% of people that was able to regrow his hair uh, despite his alopecia. So good for him. There you go. So they, so now they, uh, is this, so let me ask you this. Is this, this might potentially be even worse for alopecia sufferers that this doesn't work on because now 
no one cares about alopecia. If if, if 40% of them can grow back their hair, nobody feels sorry for alopecia it's anymore. It's definitely bad for the people it doesn't work for. It's yeah. even and even it's if people worse. didn't feel sorry for them, they feel right. even more upset at at the right. world right. because they're not in the 40%. Yeah. Like, oh, why don't you just go get the medicine? But what is the medicine? <laughs> maybe they'll with this medicine, maybe it'll get close to 100% soon. Maybe. Yeah. Cuz yeah, cuz you you're just sitting there be like, "Man, god, god double fumbled." Right. Yes, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah can't the medicine doesn't work on me oh, yeah geez. it's a bummer but no nobody yeah. cares nobody nobody thinks the alopecia is a big deal because half people can get cured well, certainly no one's hanging out with you anymore right yeah this is a f- f- fun first half of the show <laughs> <laughs> i'm hanging out with the alopecia the 40 percent reality yeah, I'm, yeah. i want to hang out with a hang out with a recovered alopecia guy. yeah exactly uh-huh <laughs> Okay. Tell you what, they caught that school shooter. That, that's happening more and more now. No, he days. killed him. He's was dead. He, was he? Was no, he a there's, student? There's a new new tweet just came out. Suspects in custody. What? It was at elementary school. Was he a student? I don't know what's going uh, on. Actually, I don't. I don't care. Um, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, if he is in custody, it's just happening more and more that they're getting them. Which, like, you know, that's obviously you prefer. First of all, it doesn't fucking happen. But if it does, you prefer we get them, right? Because you want to. Have a place to send your pubes. Jesus Christ, yeah. this guy has to stop. Has to stop. School shooting shit has to stop, man. I, I don't know. I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna send my fucking kid to elementary school. Like, no, that's the thing. Is like it's it, it, it's that's they have bulletproof backpack. It, it, there should never be bulletproof backpacks. There should never be a concern of sending your kid to public school. When they the do nine, drills and, now for this shit. Yeah, instead of like hurricane drills, it's like school shooting drills. Right, that's just now. that's just so. Re- ridiculous that the, it's come to that like come on Absolutely. like my the the school that my son goes to it's like it's like a nerdy private school right but a lot of the kids there are can they can be eccentric and and so i'm like am, is he better off at one of these nerdy private schools or is he better off at like a normal public school um because some of the kids at his school are like he no. tells me about him and they're, they're like this guy he's weird like he's he's yeah. he's crazy yeah, but the, he eats the, his burgers in front the, of us. This doesn't come from just being a weirdo. It comes from usually like being a weirdo and and not having support, not being able to be yourself, right? It, it's a lot of parenting. I don't really buy the like the bullying angle as a motivation for this, but it's absolutely really you shit. don't. Oh, no, I totally it's part of it. Bullying definitely is yeah. part, part of it. it. But it's shitty parent. I mean, it's just not being there for your kid. I think probably right. I don't if know. they get bullied, bullying is and, a huge if they get, part if of they it. get bullied and laughed at by the cute girls, poof, forget about it. Um, yeah. uh, we had this one kid in elementary school. He was like a chess master, and he used to wear like sweatpants, like mm-hmm. gray sweatpants mm-hmm. to school every day, even in the yeah. summer. And he looked like a thirty year old, even though he's in fifth grade. That kid was weird. Yeah, might have been. Yeah. It might have just been an adult. Right. <laughs> That's why he's so good at chess. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He explains it. All right. I had a sweatpant kid in my class, too. He's very, oh, very What do you mean a sweat- sweatpant kid? I no. everyone, Everyone's a yeah. sweatpant kid. No, no, no. Pat, <laughs> Pat. Oh, no, 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 no. no, these aren't like, uh, these aren't like uh, Ralph Lauren sweatpants <laughs> no. with zippers. These are like dad sweatpants. Yeah, that yeah that's what I was wearing, wearing. That they're wearing in something. No, and they're, bo- they're covered in boogers and, like and whatever that. else they have on their hands because yeah. they wipe them. Yeah, they're yeah. disgusting. Yeah, I don't think I wore a pair of jeans until the eighth grade. I think that was You didn't wear dad sweatpants that cost $4. Light Walmart. gray sweatpants. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, he had better things to focus on chess. That's right. Uh, all right. Let's move on, guys. Uh, actor Seth Green. You guys remember Seth Green? Uh, yeah. Best best known from his roles in Airborne. Airborne, huh? Yeah, that was the rollerblading movie with Mitchell yeah, Goosen. Yeah. Isn't Cleveland? he like in the creator no, of Cincinnati? Like Sorry, every Cincinnati. single. Uh, Adult, park, swim show. adult swim adult yeah, swim he's yes. a cartoonist yeah. and that uh it's funny that you said that mark good yeah. good ear that's why mm-hmm. you're at one half of the pop culture team thank you uh on hard here at hard factor news um best known as scott evil but then also he of created course. uh robot chicken with breck and meyer why don't we just get a gun i have a gun upstairs we can shoot him right now there you go also the voice of uh brian on uh, not brian the uh the chris chris on family right. guy uh anyway um he's getting into the nft game hard um he's doing what a number of growing or a growing number of media companies are doing uh which is developing content around or starring their nfts i, I think i might have told you guys this uh about i think it was atlantic one of the major record labels uh bought four board apes and uh, they're mm-hmm. forming a guerrilla-style band around them, right? In the same way that the guerrillas, Damien Albrecht, 
You don't see his face. The gorillas gotcha. are like, yep. Yeah. Um, and and that's the, as good as the gorillas. No, there's no way. I Damien Albrecht fucks, man. Come on, he's the shit. <laughs> gorillas are good. <laughs> yeah, you, go by, you, ever, you ever listen to Blur? I don't know. Um, dun, 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 dun. But no, I mean, so uh, certain NFTs, right? Uh, non fungible tokens. The uh, usage rights, this is actually kind of cool if you ask me in some respects. The usage rights are with the holder. So the person that created Bored Apes, for example, um, whoever holds a Bored Ape NFT has total and complete rights to exploit that in any way, shape, or form that they would like to. And if anyone else were to exploit it, they could bring a copyright claim against them, which is, yeah, that's one of the cooler things I've seen with NFTs. But Bored Apes are so big. If you don't know about Bored Apes, you've seen them before if you've been on social media. They're the Bored Ape Yacht Club. It's one of the most uh, successful and popular NFT collections next to CryptoPunks. Uh, Eminem bought one for like half, what, half a half a million dollars yeah right now the most expensive board ape is i want to say 3.4 million bucks ish um, it's just a picture right well it's a picture on a blockchain yep yep, mm. yep. Mm -hmm. just a picture right. anyway um on saturday guys uh seth green teased a trailer for white horse tavern uh which is a uh, a show a television show uh he teased this at the NFT conference, VCon, which is Gary, Fee, Gary V's conference. Um, and the show is based on the question, what if your friendly neighborhood bartender was Bored Ape Yacht Club number 8398, which is a Bored Ape that Seth Green owned. Uh, let me play you a little bit of the trailer from uh, VCon here. I wish you wouldn't. Already disgusted with this. So it's like a cartoon moving through a real world. It's yep. kind of. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Oh God, I hate hey, this fucking friend. song. Yeah. Wow. Boy, you know, this is not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'd rather that. have alopecia than watch this show. So yeah, I mean, what uh, Vanderchuk is actually non-recoverable kind. Yeah. yeah I'd rather... <laughs> Part of the sixty or seventy percent that it doesn't work for. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it's uh, he's got, he's got his his uh, board ape animated, uh, and is in his show, right? Cool. Mm -hmm. um, it's board apes interacting with humans. All the humans that have a board ape, it's kind of like they're invisible friends, but they're cartoon. It looks terrible. That's like Mark's Roger take. Rabbit. Man. Yeah, that's Mark's take. Um, but guys, uh, there's a problem. See the the show, which is set to star um, board ape eight three nine eight, who I just showed you, uh, who was owned by Seth Green, was stolen from him. Back on May 8th in a phishing scam. Uh, and as I was alluding to earlier, the person who now has that board ape in his or her wallet now owns the underlying intellectual property and therefore uh, could ipso facto block so the release yeah. of Seth's show. <laughs> oh, Boy, that would be a shame. Yeah, uh, but that's the way these things work. <laughs> Um, he, he said, he said, I bought that ape back in July, 2021. I've spent the last several months developing and exploiting the IP to make it in the start of this show. Uh, Green told Gary Vanderchuk. Then days before, uh, his name is Fred, by the way, days before he's set to make his world debut, he he's literally kidnapped. Um, and he's talking about on May 8th, uh, a scammer took four of Seth Green's NFTs in a phishing scam. Um, and I guess he, he had a doodle, a board ape, two mutant apes. Uh, he fucked up and don't do this. He buy these at he, all. He interacted with his he took with his wallet that was holding his you know board ape that I think was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. He interacted with a site that was a phishing scam. So that's the way the Web three thing works. So you can buy these stupid pictures for hundreds of thousands of dollars and then click on a link and someone will steal it from you. That's yeah. that's a good idea. Some, some Indian guy snatches it from yeah, you. Like from everyone's across trying the world. to steal your digital pictures that you spent way too much money on. You can't just click, it's not just a click on a link. You have to click a link and NFTs then click are a button. So dumb. Okay, says Mark. <laughs> Uh, guys, uh, one of the mutant apes that was stolen from him was flipped for uh, 42k, according to Motherboard. Um, and uh, I guess the someone else bought the other one for 200 grand. So, yeah. And then the okay, so now stole them back. When right. So now them. they're legal. Now that someone they can just be legally bought and sold. And, and... so possession is the ownership. Right. Right. Yeah. So right. Because... That's <laughs> so so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Seth Green just watches stolen board yeah. eight be sold right in front of his yep. eyes. Because <laughs> NFTs are stupid. Yeah. Because it's mm. nothing physical, right? It's digital. Right. Right. You understand? Well, so that, it's not I mean, like someone broke into his house at gunpoint. No. 
The best way to think about it is it's a smart contract, literally a smart that's, contract. That's not that smart. Yeah, well, Seth isn't because he interacted with a, yeah. with a site that was a scam. Uh, anyway, guys, let's move on <laughs> to uh, the top story of the day, also known, if you're a longtime Hard Factor fan, as the, the cream of the crop. The FBI is reporting that they've uncovered a plot by an alleged ISIS operative to kill former president George W. Bush, what? which Uh-oh. is scary and terrible, but at least they're going after the guy that started the fight. You know, you don't see that kind of rational focus from ISIS <laughs> very often. Yeah. Yeah. Cut yeah. the head off the snake type thing. If well, it's going to be any of them. Cheney, too. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's good choice. If I heard they're going after former president Jimmy Carter, I would be outraged. Mm, right. <laughs> can you blame the guys here? Uh, Shahab Ahmed Shahab Shahab. That's three Shahab. There's no way. There's no way that's Shahab. his name. Shahab. That's yep. That's it. Shahab Ahmed Shahab Shahab. I mean, if, if you're gonna go with a four name or at least get original here, that sounds get, like a Team American World Police name for them. Yeah. See, I'm a big fan of Shahab and Ahmed too. <laughs> and anything else? You can you can go any any name here. Ah, I love Shahab. Two Let's go two, two more Shahabs, please. Uh, yeah. Sounds like an order at a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, uh, his his uh, acronym is SAS. Mm. Uh, yeah, Shahab Ahmed Shahab Shahab has been charged with aiding and abetting the attempted murder of a former United States official, uh, as well as with uh, immigration crime for allegedly attempting to bring foreign nationals into the United States to help with the plot. Uh, FBI agent John Yasplantis said in the filing, the conspirators, quote, wish to kill former President Bush because they felt he was responsible for killing many Iraqis and breaking apart the entire country of Iraq. Uh, yeah, adding a quote from Shahab himself, um, who said, quote, we're still looking for the WMDs, George. Um, yeah, at least he's got a sense of humor about it. Right. right? Yeah. No, Shahab is an Iraqi national and a member of the, uh, the global Islamist Islamic ah. state. Um, the alleged plot was uncovered after, uh, Shahab revealed information about his plans and asked a confidential FBI source to quote, obtain a replica or fraudulent police and or FBI FBI identification badges that would be used in the assassination. Um, yeah, the plot was going to involve seven ISIS members and uh, Forbes broke this story. They reported that the warrant said the suspect's role was, quote, to locate and conduct surveillance on former President Bush's residence offices and to obtain firearms and vehicles to use in the assassination. That's pretty scary. That is crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, that's nuts. Yeah, um, the suspect guys, along with the FBI informant, also managed to record video of the former president's residence and took fo- took footage at the George W. Bush Institute, which, to be honest, leaves a lot to be desired in terms of security, being that the institute doubles as an elementary school. So uh, n- not the most. Secure. Also, George W. Bush has not not stepped foot in that since it opened, probably. So like, what are they doing there? No, I said it's an. El- yeah, no, he's in there every day. It's an elementary school, Mark. Is he really there? No, it's also oh, not elementary you're say, school. Because you're saying he's dumb. <laughs> I'm saying, well, it's, I'm dumb. it's an old joke. Yeah. Uh, if you were around for that presidency. He's reading with the kids, not mm-hmm. to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, wow. that's scary. Yeah, it's scary. Thank God they thank, thank God they uh, they uh, they got it. I wonder if the um, the informant was uh, like a mosque plant, which is something that uh, our government does a lot in a really shitty kind of entrappy way. Uh, where they take someone who's uh, an informant, right, has a crime hanging over their head and says, why don't you go on there and uh, convert to Islam, hang out that mosque for a That's while. a tough undercover job. They will kill you if they oh. catch you. That's... Oh, no, they won't. Peaceful Muslims don't give a shit, and the majority of them are peaceful here in the no, country. No, 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 I mean, like, ones that get in cells. Like, once you, like, like yeah. inform- behead you. informants that, like, right. get into a terrorist cell, that is a dangerous uh, job. Right. But mostly what they end up doing is entrapping people that are not terrorists, um, from what I've read. Well, how are you uh, going to entrap them if they haven't done anything wrong? Oh, they, they generate shit. Like they'll, they, He's they, saying that people will talk to people at a mosque that are like definitely not terrorists, but like maybe, exactly. say some, maybe say some shit you'd say to the boys that you don't want uh, recorded. Mm. And then but they not even. Trouble, the, there's right? a number like of cases Locker room like that. talk at a mosque. There's a know? number of cases like that. Like this yeah. one guy, this white guy, he went and converted to Islam, and he was hanging with this mm. young group of Islamic dudes who were just like buddies that like to play video games. And he yeah. kept being like, uh, so America, right? 
<laughs> what do you say? We blow it up. And they were like, no, what are you They're talking like, about? Whatever. And then he'd go back to his handler and his handler yeah. was like, I need something. Get me something. Uh, yeah. And they try to entrap them. But even these guys were like, what are you doing, man? We're not, we're not yeah. terrorists. Anyway, that's hmm. today's cup of coffee in the big time, guys. That's brought to you by uh, Feels, which is a better way to feel better. It's premium CBD. If you're not a CBD guy or gal, I recommend that you become one. And I recommend you do it through our partner, Feels. CBD has been proven to greatly reduce anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. Uh, and navigating the world of CBD can be complicated, but that's why we're here, right? Feels made a really simple process even simpler. And you can start feeling better right now. Um, you guys mess with CBD, right? You guys feels, guys? Uh, big time. Big time. What, big would time. You, what would you say is your major Benny of CBD? What's the CBD Benny that you feel? I feel calm. Like uh, I'll do, usually do do it after the show, right? Like at night or something like that. And it feels it's like a nice uh, wind down from like a long day of work and transitioning into uh, you know chilling out and going to bed. Very calm. It's yeah. very calming, especially yeah. before bed. It's absolutely a delight. Seriously, give it a try. Uh, it's way better than any um, tincture of oils that you've taken. Before. It is, and feels comes in high doses, so like you like you can either get you know really calm or you can let it last for a long time if you know what i mean yeah so start yeah. feeling better with feels guys it's f-e-a-l-s so you can become a member today by going to feels f-e-a-l-s dot com slash factor and get 50 percent off your first order with free shipping oh shit that's a good deal so go to f-e-a-l-s feels f-e-a-l-s dot com slash factor become a member get 50 percent off automatically uh your first order free shipping f-e-a-l-s dot com slash factor now boarding every hive member it's time for the tiktok international moment say aborting did you, now aborting did you so, abort us zones now now zone, zones hive members <laughs> oh, bo boarding <laughs> boarding yeah everyone that needs an abortion please come in the clinic <laughs> <laughs> they can't put laws on the air uh, yeah exactly <laughs> fly them around no jurisdiction uh, up here <laughs> that's right Ooh, what about yeah is that what about like cruise ships yeah, it's, air abortion. Cruise ship. it's, it's maritime law it's an yeah. air <laughs> abortion <laughs> oh, all right, uh, all right. right. That's, that's air abortion, abortion. Okay. All right. We're going we're going to go the long way to England. And I mean the long way, the very long way and talk about Shark Kano in the Pacific Ocean. Then we'll talk about a couple of horned dogs oh, in the UK. Um, so as I said, if you look out the plane window, that's the Pacific Ocean still. And what's that? A volcano is erupting and the volcano is spitting out ch chunks of sharks. What? Where is Ian Zeering at? Whoa. Who? You don't know who Shark Nato. Is? Oh. Who's that? Uh, that guy doesn't age, by the way. He was like 40 when he was uh, starring in 90210 in the 90s. Do you remember him? Oh, uh, he's the other guy from 90210. He was the, the older with the guy. Weak, with the weak genes. Yeah, I don't even think he was a student. He was like an older guy. He was um, dating I, the nerd. Yeah, I'm going to get to that. I Every love episode, he just bought them beer. I remember, yeah. Yes. I loved 90210 as a kid. Jenny Garth was so hot, and Luke Perry was the man. But they were all playing high schoolers, and, and they were all in their mid-20s in real life. And the one chick who played Andrea, the mm -hmm. nerd, lied to casting agents. If you watch that Punky Brewster show about the 90s, they interview mm -hmm. her, and she lied to casting or like worst part or best part of the 90s, one of those shows. Mm -hmm. She admits that she told casting agents she was like 22, or they thought she was 22, and she didn't correct them. She, she was, was actually 30 or 31. One right. uh, playing a high school student. Look at this chick. I, I remember yeah. she looked like their moms, and I was always like, uh, I was always confused as a child. Like, why is this old broad like hanging out with the hot high school kids? Like, what are they, What is she doing? Gabrielle uh, Carteris. Gross, right? Yeah, she's she was gross. so old. Oh, she's so old. I bet, I bet she's got alopecia. Gross. Uh, she probably does now. I mean, she's probably. I bet seven. she's not even in the thirty to forty percent that can be helped by it. Oh man, she is gross. According, <laughs> but let's, I digress. According to scientists, an active underwater volcano in the Pacific, the Kavachi volcano, um, it, it erupted. It's kind of, uh, this volcano is kind of in the Solomon I Islands, like right south of the Solomon Islands. It's north of Australia and east of New Guinea. Um, yeah, it started to erupt. It's spewing smoke and ash and very likely shark parts hundreds of feet into the air. Just, um, and it's an update, by the way, on this story is because I think we talked about this in October 2021 when this volcano became 
active and we found out it was a shark cano um and basically it was aptly named because scientists discovered two species of sharks one of them hammerheads living in a volcanic crater 150 feet below the surface living in hot acidic sulfur laden water and they were just like we don't care but now they care because the volcano erupted and it blew everything up that was in it so they shot were it they were all down out. there and they're they're, they're in it oh man and then the volcano erupted thousands of miles per hour shooting volcanic ash out of the sky so i mean ho hopefully they got out that's awesome. uh or they're dead how the sick would it be over. if right when that happened you were a hammerhead but you were on top of your uh titanium boogie board and you just shot it just out wrote it out man yeah you'd, yeah you'd need something to capture that heat not be on you hopefully like some cool island forms out of this and it's got like shark teeth and products all over it like you can like walk around and you feel see all these like shark teeth and shit that'd be cool um all right after a 30 plus hour flight we have arrived in the uk we went the wrong way around the globe uh and let's meet local uh uk politician john t campbell campbell is listed uh on preston conservative association i guess preston's in the uk area in the uk as the current deputy chair of campaigning uh he's a member of the tory party he's also been a candidate for the party five times for things like local city councilmen and such but he never wins and it might be because he comes off as a creep and there's a good reason for that campbell recently got in trouble for tweeting the following uh, here's the thing with girls 22 oh, yeah, or under, they smell massively different to a girl of 28. Girls 16 to say 23 have this creamy, buttery, slightly sweet smell that is unbelievably magnetic. Uh, Who was John that in about 50. Uh, the girl he was fucking that's 16. <laughs> Jesus. I put that back up. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this girl up. <laughs> what was he exactly? <laughs> he was responding to that. It's Alex Dravaling. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, his his account. Uh, let's see how his, his Twitter account's doing. It's gone. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. He got a uh, he got ratioed, obviously. But who were the 130 people that liked it? <laughs> so people that agree with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's creepy, but he's right. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I know exactly he what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, yeah. someone said it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I've told you. In his 50s, I told you. John T's right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Uh, he's obviously, you know, not not allowed to do anything anymore. He's kicked out of the out of the council and the party, and he's offline because uh, he's a psychopath that fucks young girls. Um Two other members or former members of the same Tory party in the UK got in trouble recently for sex abuse and pedo stuff. Uh, MP Imran Ahmed Khan was found guilty of sexually assaulting a 15 year old boy recently. And this guy, Jesus. and this guy, former Tory counselor David Smith, was just sentenced to 12 years in jail for raping multiple boys, which is not funny at all, but get a load of this picture. Oh, they couldn't, oh, man. They couldn't I, tell. And you know he's smiling Ooh. with his mouth closed for a reason. Oh, you this... couldn't tell this guy? He's got some yellow wooden teeth. Wow. What's going on with the Tory wow. party? Wow. And the other guy was watching porn in there. Yeah, the Tory party's having some issues. Um, this John T. Campbell guy, by the way, the guy we were talking about originally, is the best of the lot if he's being truthful about the 16 to 22-year-old girls, which is not great, right? Uh, they smell incredible. Plus, their vaginas are way tighter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's yeah. another key thing. I got, I got a long list. <laughs> That's another plus. Yeah. It's like, a, like a fat guy trying to fit into a size small shirt. <laughs> and they're not as smart. I man. can't tell which is yeah, which is better. They're, they're being able to trick them. Uh, yeah, is, John has been tighter. Their smell. Yeah. It's all great. Yeah. Oh, they're not David Tay. Quite yeah. the combo. You can threaten it? to kill their families and they'll believe you. And yeah. <laughs> what was the name of that creeper They can't guy? drive. Mark. Uh, David the, Smith. The, the guy, that was the guy. This, that, yeah. this guy? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, 33 year old david smith yeah 33 yeah okay. yeah <laughs> look at that <laughs> i mean that's the picture of pedophilia mm -hmm. it's like it's the poster child. yeah all right last one let's stay in the uk with another horny dude except let's keep everyone as consenting adults sound good mm -hmm. yes yeah. all right uh meet tony garrett and his 10 year long living girlfriend lorna oh they're cute he's got the teardrop tattoo too, for some reason on his face hmm. um they live together somewhere in the uk where it's okay to casually get teardrop tattoos with their two young children uh like pretty much everyone they have been saddened to hear about what's been going on in in ukraine but unlike most people they did something about it 
And if you bought a hard factor Ukraine shirt and therefore donated to charity over there or just donated yourself, you're excluded from that comment. Um, if you haven't, there's still time to do that. Go ahead right now to Hard Factor Store and get a Ukraine shirt and a Fat Boy Summer shirt while you're at it. Then you can feel like I didn't insult you there That's because right. you've done something about it. But what but did they do? What they did was at Lorna's request, put out an ad for a free room for one Ukrainian refugee. And lo and behold, 22-year-old Sophia responded, uh, that she wanted the room, and the couple took her in. Uh, and then 10 days later, Tony left Lorna for Sophia, who probably still smelled buttery and fantastic because she was much younger. And, mm. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. Honey, yeah. like, <laughs> if you smelled the same, but you got to admit. Lorna she's... is a piece of shit. Or well, Sophia Tony. is a piece of shit. Yeah, there you go. Lorna's, Lorna's the victim here. Lorna, right? so, Lorna's uh, saying kids. Sophia is a piece of shit. <laughs> Yes, she is. Would you say 10 days? 10 days, Pat. Uh, she couldn't keep it in her pants for 10 days. No, apparently right from the moment she got to the UK couple's house, Sophia went straight after stealing Tony. She reportedly started getting in sexy low-cut outfits and putting on red lipstick and stuff, like right when Tony was about to get home from work. So she would lounge around all day, ignoring Lorna. And then around 6 p.m. when the security guard was getting off duty, um, she would put on lipstick and like a sexy outfit just to be around the house. Uh, by the way, what's up with the security guard with the teardrop tattoo? Is he the only se security guard to ever kill someone? Yeah. No, you kind of want that, like especially yeah. you want to see that your security guard's tough. That he's, I guess you know, so. He's willing to go there. But like, was he was he a cop and he shot someone and then now he got fired and he had to be a security guard? Is that where he wasn't a cop? No. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, it's weird. Mm. It's weird. Security guards. It's, yeah. It's common these days to get the face tat. It's okay. pretty common. Yeah. The teardrop. Don't get it. Um, mm -hmm. It's. People think you killed someone, and you probably did. You don't need you don't need that on your face. Uh, then Sophia started cooking dinners for Tony and going to the gym with him. So Lorna's not even cooking dinners anymore. Sophia's taking over those duties, and yeah, she's Lorna's looking all fault. sexy for him. Uh, by like day three, she was snuggling up to Tony on the couch. Sophia was and making Lorna feel like a third wheel in her own home because Lorna's over on the one couch. She's snuggling up on the love seat with Tony. So who's on is. the lease here? Yeah, and, who is on right. the lease? And to make things worse, the two kids, the two young kids started uh taking more kindly to sophia than they Lorna. have her, children her, her yes her own kids started like hanging out with sophia more and liked her more uh yes tony and lorna had two kids together who's also who's reporting this story tony is lorna okay tony tony admitted to all this tony tony's like yeah it's tony pretty gave bad the, tony gave the interview uh he, in fact here we connected pretty much right away tony said about sophia we were finding excuses to touch and brush against each other it was very flirtatious oh, um yeah. I mean, what he an was exciting just, scene from the first moment she walked in. Tony was like, yeah. this is going to be great. Uh, oh. Finally, on the 10th day, <laughs> Lorna blew up on Sophia saying, listen, you whore enough. I know you're either fucking or trying to fuck my man and it needs to stop. And Sophia responded by saying, I, I no longer feel safe in this house and I want to leave. And then Tony responded by saying, if she goes, I go. And he took Sophia and left and moved her into his parents house 10 days later. My oh, God. yeah. Oops. Oops, Lorna. Um, that was Lorna's idea to do the ad. Uh, so Lorna's, Lorna's not do it. Lorna's OK. I, no, of course she's not OK. <laughs> she's uh, still alive. I don't know. Well, she has the kids to take care of. Sophia <laughs> blames. Yeah, she has to fall, but she can't. She has to kind of pick it together, pick it, pick it up because the kids. Mommy, can we start calling you nanny? Yeah. Can we go to Sophia's house? <laughs> Mommy, Sophia. Can we miss? Can we I visit miss Sophia? Sophia? Yeah, we miss Sophia. Sophia blames Lorna, saying that uh, Lorna's suspicions are what drove Tony to her, which was, um, they were correct suspicions, by the way. Uh, once the story went viral, uh, though, pretty much everyone in the UK was disgusted with Tony and Sophia, including Tony's parents, who have now kicked their son and the home wrecker to the streets. Uh, they don't even Good. want him anymore. They're like, they like didn't know the full story. And then once they started like peeling back the layers of the onion, they're like, get out of our house, you idiots. Uh, you're despicable people and uh hey at least they're totally in love and not lust and have each other right it's all gonna right. work out for them i'm sure and no good deed uh is what i would say to lorna oh my god <laughs> jesus christ dude i mean sophia really fucked over a lot of people that actually need homes uh because once yeah. if you if we're like you know well, women gonna... aren't going to be opening their opening their 
houses to these floozies i was gonna ukraine. say wes you know i'm very pro ukraine but have you seen 90 day fiance like the seasons of that there are yeah. so many ukrainian chicks i think more ukrainian women on that show than any other nationality you could yeah. you could stack up ukrainians to all of the asian uh mm -hmm. we'll call them mail order brides i know that's not really uh, fuck it mail order brides there's yeah. more ukrainian mail order brides than any other country by far mm -hmm. and then add a uh, russian invasion on top of it and yeah. these ukrainian women are going to be getting their tonys no lornas are going to get in their way right um yeah they get yeah, they're a lot and they're a lot tougher than lornas yeah. oh yeah a bunch of ukrainian women are going to stop taking that new alopecia medication if they want to get housed because yeah uh by the way guys uh sorry to update yeah. uh because it's coming in as we're taping the show but yeah f 15 are dead plus oh, uh plus this uh person's grandmother it's an 18 year old person who's also dead 18 year old um high school student 18 year old high school student shot up the elementary school yeah so he's, it's another he's sandy dead. hook He's dead. So, yeah, 15, 14 kids dead, one teacher, one grandmother, one shooter. So he killed his grandmother, then he went and shot up in lunch school, probably. Yep. That's great. Jesus Christ. All right, let's move on. Which one's Matt. worse, Sophia or that kid? The, the kid. The kid. Is. The kid, man. The kid is, yeah. yeah, the kid. The kid is. Yeah. <sighs> God kid. damn it, man. All right, well, I need a cigarette after that. Uh, you guys know I love cigs, but, uh, but when I can't smoke a cig... I turn to the next best thing, dipping with black buffalo. Sometimes taking a nice walk in the woods with a dip really gets you close to nature. And with black buffalo's all natural ingredients, you will feel extra close to nature while enjoying a nice little buzz at the same time. There are alternatives for everything these days, even meat. But where are the high quality tobacco alternatives? If you're 21, you can try one with black buffalo. Um, if you dip or chew tobacco pouches or long cut, you have to try this tobacco alternative. Black Buffalo is everything you love about dipping, including pharmaceutical grade nicotine, just without the actual tobacco leaf or stem. It's dip literally made from edible green leaves and food grade ingredients with the same flavors, texture, aroma, pack, and nicotine as traditional tobacco products that you have come to love. They produce a variety of flavors. My favorite is the winter green, but they have mint, straight, peach, blood orange, all kinds of different stuff. They sell their products at blackbuffalo.com, available in both long cut and pouches, whatever whatever you prefer. Plus, if you're looking to dish nicotine and tobacco, tap into their nicotine-free options called Zero. Uh, made in the USA in the Midwest, raised in the South. Black Buffalo proudly manufactures their products right here in the USA. Plus, they have uh, are made in, in limited qualities and small quantities and small batch runs, so you can count on the best quality from Black Buffalo. Mm. So, yeah. Um, they are actually a very great product. If you're looking to switch things up, try them out. Um, by the way, uh, the contest of who's going to send me the order is over. Uh, Kyle won. He gets the hat, so I'm going to be sending that out to him. Thank you, Kyle, for your order. But uh, be like Kyle. Try it out. You're going to love it. Um, it's 2022. Are you still dipping traditional tobacco or those white portion things? If so, and you're 21, it's time to get with Black Buffalo. It's everything you love about dipping, just without the actual tobacco. Leave your stem. Head to blackbuffalo.com and use promo code HARDFACTOR. At checkout for 25% off your first order. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use our code hard factor for 25% off your first order. That's promo code hard factor for 25% off your first order. Warning this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. All right. On to the stories. It is what the fuck Wednesday. And I got uh, a couple uh, great ones for you. The first one sent in by Father Brian. Uh, not sure if this story is making its way around the priest email chains or <laughs> how we found it. Uh, best not to ask too many questions on this one. Um, but guys, this is uh, Norm Self. Here you go. Um, and for years, Norm was living with a secret. Uh, now, for a nice introduction to this story, uh, I'm going to play a little clip of Norm talking about masturbation and the effect it had him had on him as a young boy. Okay, Pat, you might relate to this. <laughs> Just me, huh? <laughs> oh, got him. It's not playing. Uh, it's not playing, Wes. Pat, is it playing for you? Nope. What? Is it? Oh. Okay. Here, here, I, I got it up. Here, here, here's Norm. Okay. About 12, I was a religious kid, good kid. I remember that when I masturbated, oh my God, it was like doors of heaven opened up. Oh yeah. And yeah. then all of a sudden, <laughs> wham! 
the gates of hell opened up. In right. there. Mm -hmm. so how will I ever get over this? And I prayed fervently. I won't ever do that again. And a few days later, as you might guess, <laughs> and I thought, well, no, I can only pray so many yeah, times. Yeah, they filmed an erotic video of Norm Master. Do something thinking I can pray and get it over with after it's done. Well, it doesn't count. <laughs> okay. That was a weird, yeah, the director's so got a weird mind. And well, you, I think, so Wes edited it for, 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 uh, for time, but there was that small uh, card that popped up on the screen saying we filmed Norm mm -hmm. masturbating and that's what the those cutaways were right tight yeah. shots of his nipples and stuff while he was masturbating. right Norm um, about what, what he's in his 80s he's a yeah he's now 85 or 87 something he like looks that. like the type of guy that you'd see uh, out front of a bait shop well there Pat there Master you go bait. he's that looks like he's out, out front of a bait shop yeah. um now as you can see Norm loved to jerk off just like everyone does but he apparently had the worst case of guilt ever so much that it led Norm to become a pastor in North Carolina early in life, uh, where he lived with his wife for nearly 30 years before given, he realized. Given it. sermons about beating it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But after here's 30 how years, I here's how I beat beating it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of you out there might be going through the same thing I was. Yeah. It's tough, ain't it? Um <laughs> After nearly 30 years, he realized something. One day he woke up and was getting ready to be married to a woman again. And he said, you know what? I don't think this is for me. I think cocks are more my speed. You see, Norm realized he was gay. Oh. And so he um, divorced his wife and, um, you know, ruined her life. But, uh, you know, it's tough, right? That being that old coming out, obviously tough. And then once he got in his 80s, he decided, you know what? This pastor thing isn't for me. I think uh, gay porn is for me. And that's what Norm did. So he quit being a pastor, and now he's just uh, blowing dudes on camera. Um, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. What yeah. a transformation. Yeah. yeah. Here's some of the uh, shots from the scene. Pastor Norm? Oh, my there, God. There's, that's there. a gangbang. Yeah, it's a gangbang. Okay. Oh, here, my God. Here he is. How many people the... did he give, like, communion to that are pissed? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you hear about, you hear about <laughs> Pastor Norm? Hey. <laughs> he baptized <laughs> my kid. Yeah. <laughs> Did what's, you hear what he's done? <laughs> what's that video he was in called? What, like, five uh, young studs bang an oh, old pastor Norm? It's oh. called, um, God, Norm, World's Norm's Oldest Angels? Kid Wants to Make Yeah, World. Sick. Makes, uh, uh, God, the I end of it, ageism. Oh, the end of ageism, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah that's what I like. Yeah. He's, in, he's in a hot tub. There he is. He's looking at these guys, and then they come over to him, and they're like, it's time oh, wow. uh, that we, you know, three stars out of five. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a central video too. There's lots of soft kissing. It looks like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a goddamn veteran of the Korean war. You hear about what? <laughs> <laughs> which is true. Norm is a veteran of the Korean There's, war. People are ripping up their fucking programs. They have oh, from yeah. father. Oh, Zoom. pastor Norm. <laughs> I can't believe it. He, I had him over for dinner at least four times. Oh. Um, Look, this yeah. is way out of the norm for Norm. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, um, but he's what he's what the uh, he, he likes to call himself a sacred intimate, believing that um, he has sexual knowledge to share, and he's uh, he studied tantric sex, and now he's part of this uh, church, which is called oh, fuck. Where did I put it anyway? Here the, yeah. yeah. Oh, the Moon Hearth Ministries, and uh, it was founded by him. And uh, they they explore Moon Hearth provides safe spaces for men, women, and people of all genders to explore the healing power of pleasure. So he believes that pleasure is the ultimate. Um, you get you get close to God when you uh, when you when you um, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna put a bet out here that Pastor Norm uh, was maybe like uh, an Episcopalian, definitely a Protestant of some sort. This was this wasn't a this wasn't a Catholic transformation. No, I don't think it was Catholic mm -hmm. um, because he was first of all he was married. Ah um, uh, yes, right. Yeah, to so the, and it wasn't just to the Lord. Yeah, but North Carolina. Pastor Ooh. Norm was banging dudes the whole time. Yeah, here's. I mean, this I had to, I had to put a eggplant on it, but he's just worshiping a cock in this picture. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he looks. Yeah. Having, he looks <laughs> so happy. <laughs> he looks pretty happy. He looks he's, extremely happy. Yeah. Uh, he also said in the video, funny that uh, the word for the French word for orgasm is le petit mort, a which little death. Means, which, yeah, the little death. It's an expression that means the brief loss or weakening of consciousness. Um, and it's a, uh, and in modern yeah. usage refers specifically to the cessation of post orgasm as likened to death. 
Norm so. almost almost dies multiple times a day. It sounds like yeah. these days. Yeah. yeah. So he's a uh, well. You know what? Good for him. Um, his whole message is like, as you get older, you need to learn to listen to yourself and what makes you happy. And, and stop. my mind says, cocks, cocks. My, yeah, my, cocks, my, sucker, my, sucker, sucker, cock. Five oh, cocks, five cocks, co five cocks. Would you look <laughs> at that cock? That is a beaut. Young cocks. That'll make me happy. That is a beaut there, young buck. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Why don't you bring that cock on over to Pastor Norm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will worship it. That's, that's an older story. Uh, it is. It is. Yeah, it it's is. a great but one. Father Brian passed it on. So, uh, Last one of the day. A couple in Texas. You guys hear about this? Uh, they're suing Apple yes. over um, the claim that their son suffered permanent hearing loss while using his AirPods because so this, this kid's 12. This is in San Antonio, Texas. He was watching Netflix at a reasonable um level but i guess the airpods were still connected to his phone and an amber alert popped up and the amber amber alert blew out one, his um one of his eardrums it like it 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 damaged his his uh, cochlea and caused significant injuries to his um to his hearing so now they're suing apple for seventy five thousand dollars um because they say that the apple airpods uh have cost him permanent hearing loss because this of scares the shit out of me if it's true if they're not just yeah. scamming because i like fall asleep with my airpods in connected to my phone i work out with my airpods in connected to my phone like i have my airpods in connected to my phone non-stop and we get probably f three amber alerts a week it have you heard one in the, in the airpods no yet? thank no i no i mean okay. uh, I, i'm very frightened to now oh man mm. I'm hoping that like th this is a scam. It's not. I mean, the no, amount of yeah. money they're suing for is not scam money. It's, right. Uh, Seventy-five k. Seventy-five k is a uh, well. It's that's not damages. That's it's that's, ear surgery. I've yeah. been practicing like on the elliptical, like quickly removing my AirPods right. in case I can Amber Alert. Like, just... Yeah, not so you can do something about the Amber Alert, but so you. <laughs> no, I don't get... care about the kids. Yes, yeah, no. so you don't yeah. injure yourself. Ninety percent of those Amber Alerts are like their dad picked them up in the in the in the uh, convertible, and and he took he's trying to take them across yeah. state lines. Someone named Toby or Wade yeah. has. Call, them. Why don't you call the stepfather, or the father? You know, <laughs> case closed. Right. Uh, um, this school shooting is horrible, man. Yeah. This is bad, man. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, Apple is is you know um, not really saying anything about it. But I looked online, and there's a lot of people that complain about this issue with Apple. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's the kid's fault for not turning the Amber Alerts off, or no. He was well. He was clearly listening to it full blast. The reasonable right. volume is yes. Is, is there a fib? Right. Exactly. Like, he was listening to it at full blast, but still, I listen to my AirPods at full blast when I'm working out. I don't even know if the Amber Alert actually happened, to be honest with you. I think this kid uh, yeah, was probably. Let me, let me think about this real quick. I I don't I don't know, but I don't think it's possible. I, like, OK, so like you want to amplify the noise. Well, OK, so like so Netflix or whoever, they have a certain uh, RMS, like essentially peak audio level that they send. Mm -hmm. Right. I could see that the Amber is louder, but the speed. But the speed it's a speaker and your ear is going to have a maximum that it can send. Correct. The AirPods don't get AirPods, that yeah. loud, and, but they don't have an automatic. Um, so they say that that um, lawsuit said that the family uh, would for the foreseeable future have medical bills. And they said had Apple designed the AirPods to self adjust to safe levels that. or provided this warnings. Kid had a bum ticker. Like his ear was about to go. His ear was about to go anyways, and yeah. like it was right on the edge. And they're using this as an excuse. It's you like know? if you, it's like if you had like a, a busted bumper on your yeah. on your car and, and you because dinged. you did it, and then you knocked and my whole bumper you, off. Exactly. And you're like, oh. I think that's what's going on. He had a shitty ear to begin with. Right. Yeah. That's a lot, lot of that. ear infections. Yeah. yeah. He's a pool kid, man. Dirty yeah, pool. Check kid. the Carfax on that kid's ear. Yeah. He had tubes in his ears. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, um, I hope he gets the money. I don't care. Apple's got billions and trillions of dollars. I, I just don't know, man. Let's see. Okay. Uh, the story scares me. I, I kind of want to find out it's a scam for my own peace of mind. Let's see. I guess they can I gotta get. got to piss, and then we're going to spin the wheel for the call. Okay. I guess. Okay. <laughs> let's see. They can get to. It says over 100 decibels. It's pretty loud, right? But, 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 like, I think it's cute. Like, um, Hearing loss from Apple or like any earphones is cumulative. It's it's like listening to it for right. a long period. That's of time. what I'm saying. Like if you go if you're in a band next to the amps or if you listen to music really loudly over time, slowly, yes, it's cumulative. But he was only 12, so I think he had like a bad ear to begin with. Absolutely, dude. I'll yeah. tell you what. The, the the amount of tonight tinnitus that I have from just 
being at, at live concerts for the music business yeah. for 10 years is not bad, but but it's bad enough that the fucking professional musicians, I would not want to be in their heads. Yeah, did you see that show, the movie um, uh, that oh, oh, was nominated for like two years ago? The guy who was in a band. The he Sound was a of Metal. Sound of Metal, and he went deaf because he was in a metal band. Dude, tonight it's just constant high Ooh. pitch ringing in your ear. It's yeah. fucking horrible. Ryan Adams has that, but then he also, you know, did those messed up things, so... Yeah, he deserves it, right? He deserves it, man. <laughs> what did he do? Stuff with kids? Probably. Oh, right now he was like abusive to Mandy Moore. She's oh. America's sweetheart. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. He also is the guy that at the concert, he, 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 one of our friends. I don't know. I won't tell the story. But yeah, let's not right now. He's an egotistical <laughs> punk. Yeah. Um. Okay. So all you guys got to do, if you get it, is Google. <laughs> um. Uh. We gotta Google it. You don't. Can't you tell us the phone number from oh, your phone? From your oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I probably uh, gotta bow out of this p potential competition. Why? Why is that? Um, because I, I have to uh, grab my my son here in a minute, and let, depending on how long this is gonna take. Oh, this will take three minutes. Okay. Yeah, let me spin it right now. Here we go. Someone look up the phone number. What's it called? What's the name of the place? And Pat gets it. Hilarious. <laughs> We can't see it, Wes. What's the name of the place? Can't see it. Well, I promise you, it'll be there when, on the thing. Uh, it's called Motel Forty One, um, Evansville. Okay. And it's I can I can read you the phone right now. Yeah, read the phone number from your yesterday mm -hmm. phone call. Eight one two, four two four, six four three one. There you go. This is the best. Thank you for calling Motel 41. If you know your party's room number, you may dial it at any time. Let me try something real quick. Call 150. You are being transferred to a guest. Oh, my God. Yes. Good idea. They're fucking in there. You know they are. Mm -hmm. They haven't stopped fucking since they got in room 150. You are being transferred to the operator. Oh, yeah. Okay. Say so you're from room 149. You can hear them fucking. Thank you for calling Motel 41. How many help you? Hey, yeah. I was just calling to see what the availability is right now. Oh, tonight. All week, really. Hello? Hello? Uh, how many people will be in your room, sir? Oh, just me. <laughs> just me. Just me and myself. Just me and my nose. Um, well, how's it looking? There's availability, sir. Um, now, let me ask you a question. What if I wanted a specific room, like, I don't know, room 150? Um, no, so that would be a no. What? There is a waiting list for that room. I'm sorry. Well, um, I just called in there, and no one picked up, so it sounds empty. What? What's it like in there in 150? I'm sorry, what, sir, what did you say? What's it like in there? Is it, I mean, did they leave anything behind? Is it a smell or a stain or? Sir, I have no idea. How long is the list? It's quite long. All we're doing is keep taking people's names and phone numbers. What about 151 or 149? Are those available? Not for today, sir. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, what about a room across the way? Yeah, is there? I mean, is there something across the hall? How strong are those walls? No, sir. Okay. Uh, last question for you: Are the walls thin or are they thicker? Sir, uh, that's a little too much. Um, do you want me to take your name and phone number and uh, it's the we'll same call lady. you? There's a room. Yes. That room is available. Nah, I'll, I'll come in. Thank you. It's the same lady. Same lady, Poor lady. Yeah. We're going to get her all week. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> I can come just as hard in 149. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'll just break the wall down. You give me yeah. 149. All right, that's good. Do a stethoscope thing. That's good. Do it for hard. Do y'all do you want to spin a wheel for uh, for jobs? Sure. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Spin it. Spin it. Who's got coffee tomorrow? Hit spin. spin. Hit spin. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, it's, Sir, that's a bit much. You've that's crossed a, the line. That's a little <laughs> much. <laughs> All right, I'm on coffee. <laughs> the list is quite long. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't even admit to that yesterday. Yeah, I know. Well, she's getting she's, more with she's the getting program better. here. Yeah, she's yeah. getting better. Yeah. Pat's on TikTok. Second day. Woo. She's going <laughs> to yep. be real good by the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it for Hard Factor, y'all. Have a great fucking day. Hard Factor. Cheat on the news. Patreon.com slash Hard Factor.